What's up? It never fails. It never fucking fails. In this city. Every time, every time I try to make a video, as soon as I hit play, there's some motherfucker. Uh, and we're trying to deal with it. We're trying to learn to deal with it. But I don't want an audience of random people in my videos. I don't want them here. Especially not so close. Man, that's annoying. I want you guys to see that shit though. Because it's like... As soon as I fucking hit play. Well, this may be reminiscent of my last video, but I have been doing quite better. I was going a little bit crazy there for a minute. This city drives people crazy. This world is driving people crazy, okay? And the best ones are the people that know it. Okay? The best ones are the people who know that they're going crazy. The worst ones are the ones trying to hide it. They're hiding it to themselves. They're hiding it to everyone around them. So, uh, a little um, impromptu video. I'm unkempt, I'm greasy, I'm nasty. I don't feel like I look good right now. I just, wanted to make a video. And of course there's some fucking homeless motherfuckers pulling up on me over here. God, I hate this place. So, what do I wanna talk about? What do I wanna talk about? So, I keep thinking about this, um, this idea of spirituality and magic and how there's people getting into this for the wrong reasons. <clears throat> there's people getting into all sorts of things for the wrong reasons. There's people getting into crypto just to make... They think they can cheat something and make $100 million with not doing any work. Everyone wants to do, let's not even talk about crypto. Let's talk about um, school. People go to school for business or whatever, and they get this higher up position to do nothing. That's what their goal is, this nepotism. Um, everyone is trying to cheat this fucking world okay <clears throat> you see this in jobs okay these fucking rich fuckers are not even they're not even rich they're just they just have more money than than you and I these people that make the rules or at least yeah, whatever. Let's say they make the rules. The CEOs, the people who work for the CEOs. These people try to do as little as possible and then put all the work on the lower guy, okay? So we see this in the economy. We see this in, like I was saying, crypto, another facet of the economy. Uh, we see this in TikTok and YouTube. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a blueprint. There's a blueprint for success. They say, "Oh, you gotta just know these key words, and you gotta know how to edit your videos this way, and you gotta use this AI voice, and you gotta, you gotta do lists." And you got, you got to drop 10 videos a day and it's all down to science. And then, and then you're going to make money. And then you'll get the, the, um, 
the passive income that you're looking for. They never say, oh, make good content. They never say, actually talk about something you're passionate about. It's always, here's how you get there as fast as possible. Here's how you make money as fast as possible. With doing the least amount of work. So everybody's trying to cheat something. So, spirituality. I can just hear it now. Oh, well, my friend's a witch and she made $3,000 after she did a money spell. I want to learn how to do that. Oh, my friend's a witch and he got a really hot girlfriend because he did a love spell. I want to learn how to do that. Like you can just do this spell and get this result. And oh, it just, it just, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. It might work that way for a little while. And it works that way for people without souls. It works that way for, or maybe it's not without soul, but maybe they have very young souls. Certain people in this world are able to reap su supposed benefits without much consequences because they're just not very important okay if you want to learn about the real magic the real gnosis that comes with pain pain and suffering pain and suffering why? Why? Why does it come with pain and suffering? Why do these gods want us to suffer? Because they hate us? Well, yeah, some of us, I'm sure they do. But when you suffer, when you suffer, You, you have a chance to grow, okay? And you can't grow without suffering. You can't. So that's why it goes back to the old adage of, um, God's greatest soldiers get his toughest battles or whatever. It all goes down to that. So, you know, you know, we all get into this for different reasons. I'm not trying to say that I necessarily thought that I was going to go down this road at all. But... I was definitely trying to benefit in a material way, but you know, I, I was see, I've always been seeking wisdom and you will gain wisdom through pain. Like, like Curtis jo Joseph, Joseph says, become or be crushed. You're either going to be crushed or you're going to become. So, you know, sure, like, if you want to get into this stuff for, for monetary gain, for material gain, that's great, but be prepared to pay for it. Be prepared for pain. And how does this benefit me? How does all this pain and suffering benefit me? How? Well, when I'm around 
normal people. I feel how weak they are. Oh, I'm just gonna lay my head down right here on this pillow. Oh. Ow. That's not a pillow. I didn't know that actually moved. Fuck. Um, these people are weak, okay? These people are afraid of themselves. These people are afraid of the truth. These people are fucking ants. Not all of them, not all of them. But they're pretty pathetic. They're pretty pathetic, guys. So, I'm around these people and I do feel like a predator. I do feel like I could just destroy them. I don't know how to explain it. Sounds like craziness to the, to the uninitiated, but I do feel how weak they are. So, this doesn't benefit me right now, okay? These people hate me. They hate the fact, because they feel it too. They just don't know what they're feeling. But let's take a little side tangent here. I've been doing magic in this park for a long time. And then there's these gates, very reminiscent of a cemetery gate. Cemetery gates. They said that they say the iron keeps the dead in. I've been doing magic right here at the center of these gates, cracking eggs, putting sigils down, bleeding here. What happened here? This gate fell over. This gate fell right over. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I always liked it because it's like the iron is all bent and, and it just, to me, it, it, it represented like the veil is lifted. The gates are, the gates are breaking. The dead are rising. They can't keep us within anymore. They can't keep this, these spirits within or enclosed anymore. So, to get back to what I was saying, this does not benefit me right now. In a, in a traditional sense of the word, these people do not like me. They think I'm mean. They think I have problems. They think that I'm scary. Not always, but a lot of times they do. And especially people of power, they don't like me because I'm stronger than them, okay? So if we look to the 48 laws of power, don't outshine the master, okay? It's kind of hard to do that when you've been working with ancient gods for two and a half years and have basically just been getting pummeled and pummeled and pummeled and you're just fighting and you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So, these things do not always look the way you want them to look. It doesn't make sense to our human brains. This magic works out in a way that we don't even see coming a lot of times. So you just have to trust it because I'm seeing it more and more the longer it goes by. I'm seeing how, how I am stronger than these people, how I can do so much more. I'm just being held back a lot of times by this system. But what am I doing? I'm not gonna cry about it anymore. I'm doing tarot readings. That has gone great, but it's also gone terribly because I had a good groove. I almost made 200 bucks last week. And there's been some issues arising with my health. 
my phone broke one thing after another now my goddamn like the momentum i had is gone whatever we'll build it back up so the vampire needs to take matters into his own hands you can't expect to thrive in this system that wants to destroy you so i'm done playing that game I'll do what I have to do to get by, but I'm trying to build stability. I'm trying to build something that comes from myself. Okay, hopefully I'll be back with some more videos. Hopefully I won't look like such a dirt grub, fucking chud, scummy motherfucker. Had a busy day. Haven't been able to shower yet. I'm actually about to do that now, but I wanted to make this video because sometimes that inspiration strikes and then I say, you know what, let me do this and this and then I'll do the video and then I don't make the video. So yeah, so here we are with the video. Hope you guys can get something from that. Think about that, okay? Think about that. If you are doing magic to fit in, if you are gaining all of this pleasure and um, luxury and making all of these new friends and whatever maybe probably you're you need to work on yourself a little bit and maybe you're just a fucking young soul and you can just have that live that fantasy world but I don't know things are happening prepare for pain prepare for pain I think pain is coming too many so prepare for it trend mage signing out